to their ground crew can hear your appreciation, let's welcome them to Pop Rock, the Emmy 262. Even if they were the bad guys all those years ago, it's great to see these pieces of flying history demonstrating here today. From the Military Aviation Museum, it is so great to have them here. Ray Fowler in the controls of the Falk Wolf FW-190 from the Military Aviation Museum, and Wolf Chia at the controls of the ME-262. serving a day and night fighter, ground attack, and fighter bomber configuration. The ME-262, Trottle Swallow, was the world's first operational combat jet, the very first. As such, it immediately outclassed all mission fighters, but it's a mysterious threat if it has been available in significant numbers. Of course it was. Crossroads were manufactured in eight different factories. The A8 version, the most numerous variant, the A8 carries 30 millimeter cannons and upgrades from the normal 20 millimeter weapons. Forty-four time for this jet. No original ME-262s are still airworthy. This aircraft was reconstructed at first flown in 2011. It is painted as white green, flown by Hans Vito Lund. About 720 pounds of flying machine. Give Ray Fowler a huge wave and make sure the folks from Virginia Beach, the Military Aviation Museum, know we appreciate the first ever appearance in Canada of the Fox Wolf FW-190. We are turning back the hands of time even more. For the First World War, Sub Lieutenant Red Tap, who is dedicated to, with its Continental engine, and somewhat of a rarity among World War I replicas, and it represents a two-seat fighter observation aircraft. The Boker DR-1, overall red as Manfred von Richthofen, chasing Eddie Rickenbacker's Newport 28, that's the paint scheme. And underneath from the Second World War, Mr. Chia and of course, the ME-262. What a picture. Great War Flying Museum is the 